Okay, here we go. We're cruising through our boat. Man. Let's see how bright this is. There's out the window here. Oh, that's pretty sunny. Oh, there's an uninhabited island. Mm hmm. That's right. That's right. Bunch of oil. We've got a wall for days, weeks, we have months. There's some purified dock water, slightly orange and yellow. Chlorinated, they say. We triple filtered it, it's almost potable. Yeah, that a port window. Yeah, that's right. That's a port window, man. Mm hmm. Port window. And it's an uninhabited island. Ain't nobody living on that place, man. So we are way. Look out here, man. We are way out here. Way out here. This is the shower. We got a shower, man. We could take a shower in here one of these days when we got all kinds of water, but we're not gonna have all kinds of water like that. Hey, who's that bald guy? Who'd be that bald guy? Yeah. Anyway. This is our luxurious bathroom. We're shitting in comfort, man. All we do is shit in here, fill it with some dock water, but we don't have that kind of, we just use salt water. But now we're living up the sky. We could take this hose here and fill ocean water and save our water. Because, yeah, did I mention the water maker don't work? The air conditioners don't work. Who needs those anyway? Wow, that was fast. I turned on already again. That was like only 15 minutes. No, oh, that's all right. Yeah, here we are in living. That's our freezer. At 24.2 degrees. And when it gets down to 22.2, .2, it turns itself off. After being on 24-7. We do a wider range. Oh, I don't know. But that's our single sideband radio that we'll never use. That's another piece that doesn't work. This has VHF almost works sometimes. GPS. Oh, that's the only functioning thing, but it's outdated. Hey, but this groovy thing tells us the time. And the temperature in Celsius, whatever that is. This the little blinking light tells us it's charging. And this little digital meter right here, well, that tells us in Swahili that you're f***ed. Who knows what that shit is? We got our lucky hedgy dog. Hedgy hog rocks, man. It's our nest dog. So this is our massive air refrigeration unit with a big ass blanket and all these pads to keep all that shit from foaming up and causing condensation. But there you go. This is our front window. We can look through our front window and see more uninhabited islands. Ooh. That's right. Okay, the star of our show. Orchids. And kids. And greater than kids. Mm-hmm. Happy hour beverages. So we get happy. And when we run out of water, you can see we got more precious purified water, unlike the water in the shower. Purified, purified. And here we're gonna go down. We're going down. We're going down to the other side. The other side. And we could take a poop over here. And we could take a shower here. And this is where the water maker used to be. But now, we got heaps of storage. So much better. Got a pesky broken water maker. In fact, there were two water makers in there. Both of them didn't work. You better duct tape that window down. Otherwise, Jacques Cousteau and those friendly sea creatures are gonna be sleeping in your bed with you. Mushy, mushy, mushy. And this, this is where the washer and the dryer was. All in one unit, didn't work. And here's the table that don't work. It's rusted up so much that we can't get the thing to fit in there until we get some more Dremel tools after two hours of sanding. Well, we got two more hours of sanding. With power tools this time, 
Which is another window. Mm -hmm. And this, well, is a bookshelf with chips and our bitch in the little motor. Mm -hmm. 29 massive horsepower of drippy, leaky, diesel things with a fuel filter, with a raw water filter. Yeah. It has lots of more holes than the Trump speech. Hey, it's all good. As long as this gets us out of the anchorage. This morning we escaped the marina under the red, red flag. Here we go. Brand new monkey fur. How many monkeys sacrificed their life to become a part of our hull? Mm-hmm. Real organically grown monkey fur walls here, folks. And all these ports, they're welded shut and glued. Guaranteed not to leak or open. Well, at least they're not, they're guaranteed not to open anyway. And here we are in the lap of luxury with cedar line closets, folks. But the hinges are nice. Okay, moving right along the tour, we go way up here. Here's little Bobby too. She's got her file and her little COVID-19 mask standing by, <laughs> even though we're in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's a dead one. That's why it's oh, getting it's all dead, the, Jim. Yep. That's but why anyway. it's getting all the, the dead skin. Stuff. So we've been eating, drinking juice. Putting things in the sink. But this is the best our boats looks like since we got it. So here's the first video, official video. Work it. Clothes everywhere. Towels everywhere. Towels everywhere. This is our navigation system. Dell. 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 With a $29 USB antenna. Because all the other all shit doesn't work. All the other shit work. doesn't work. Thing we know which way's up. One of the best things we got is this brand new dinghy. This dinghy is brand new three and a half years ago. And the fella never used it. So we got a brand new 15 horsepower Yamaha. That's right, we just pull it on up here to the garage. Yep, do. Let's continue the tour. The helm station. This one, this is the chart plotter. That's gonna sail us all around the world. Except if you turn on the radar, it makes everything crash. And of course it doesn't have charts for Mazelon, so as soon as we get down to Puerto Vallarta, we'll know where the fuck we are. But until then, that little laptop is our dream. Now this little beauty here, it doesn't quite do charts, but it does radar. Well, don't turn that radar on if you got the essential chart putter, which tells you where the f in the world you are. Now, this is the only thing we really need. This little tiny one here tells us we're in 17.8 feet of water. We're going 0, 0.0, which is a good thing because we're not moving. We're at anchor. We don't want to move while we're at anchor. But that doesn't even work when we are moving because the speedometer through the water is a uh, article shut. All right, and all these other things are... This, this, this is a neat little light. You can turn it up, up, down, left, right, and turn it on and shit, really, too, but it's broken. It's a VHF radio. Sometimes it works. And the stick shift things. Oh, my God. And if you think you're going forward or backwards, Good thing we're not around multi-million dollar boats anymore. Captain's chair. Gotta have it. Our favorite chair though. Lumbar support. <laughs> we can lay down and sleep on this baby. That's right. Continuing the tour. This is the, not quite the poop deck. More like the pee deck. It saves on that flushing pesky flushing thing. Doesn't use any water. We got an extra jug of water in here in case we run out of drinking water. 
got another cooler with three of those drinking waters because boat came with two water makers, none of them worked. try the spinnaker jenniker thingy but we're holding man we're in we got enough scope out to hold us in the anchor and hey, hold that anchor in a in a flipping hurricane of course the anchor's got a split in it doesn't weigh 50 60 pounds like it should it weighs about 25 pounds made out of aluminum and the aluminum is coming unglued hey but it's all part of the adventure Stainless steel chain, man. Okay, don't ignore, ignore the stains and the stuff on it. I'm 17 years old. What could possibly go wrong with that? Yeah, we're airing out some things here on the trampoline. I'll throw those in there. But this little baby here, one of the things that do work is this fresh water pump. Watch this. Whee! That's ocean water, baby. There's that toilet. We just fill that toilet with that seawater there where you can flush for free, man. Our little tiny bit. It's about the size of a large windsurfing mast. Little sail. Uninhabited island, folks. There's one over there. We sailed in between these two uninhabited islands. Nobody lives here except the spirits of the afterworld and the ancient Mayan culture used to live on this island. And now you can hear the sounds of the drums. Booga booga. And the spirits get restless at night, but basically it's over here where you got all these resorts. Killing for a right reason. Gringo tourism. We're in exile here in Mexico. I'd like to be flying my flag upside down because we're in distress. Our leadership is lacking morals and virtues, but what the do I know? Morals and virtues have nothing to do with what makes America great these days. America used to stand for all that nice. Virtuistic shit. A little bit tattered. That's all glory. Living on the glory of what we used to be. What we could have been, but we seem to have wasted our infinite potential. And again, wasting infin infinite potential is what makes America great. As long as we squander our resources and exploit, exploit our resources, greedy, self centered. Uh, Game. That's what makes Merck great. There's that uninhabited island. We're gonna make landfall on that baby tomorrow. Palm trees. 
Sandy Beach. No COVID-19 has been reported on this uninhabited island for 10,000 billion trillion years. Kind of safe. That there, if you can see it, oh, hey, over there, that's the tallest lighthouse in the world. No shit. And all these other ones are the most cluttered TV antennas in the world. But that concludes our test. Hasta luego, baby. <laughs>